Now, the Vercelli book uh, is the only manuscript in which the Dream of the Rood uh, appears. It's really very interesting. Um, you can kind of see if, if this is an H and this right here that looks sort of like a P, it's actually a Huin, which is a W. And then that's uh, an, uh, an ash, an A, uh, E mashed together in a T. It says what, which means low or what, itch. Um, uh, so, you know, I, uh, you know, low, I, and it, 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 I'm going to tell you about the greatest of dreams. You can actually kind of read, even on this manuscript um, page. Um, in any case, um, the um, Dream of the Root only uh, occurs in this one manuscript. And it's uh, in uh, the Cathedral Library in Vercelli, Italy, uh, where it's, of course, known as the English book. Um, but we call it the Vercelli book because it's one of the codices, uh, one of the major codices of, uh, of uh, Old English um, poetry. Uh, and it happens to be um, uh, in uh, that particular um, Cathedral Library. Nobody really knows why. Um, it uh, is, however, on the pilgrimage route to Rome. So there is some thought that uh, it perhaps um, uh, uh, was being taken as a gift or it was uh, uh, someone who was making the uh, pilgrimage uh, had it with them for some reason and died. Um, but it's, uh, uh, for whatever reason, it is uh, in this um, library in uh, Vercelli and it's very interesting. It's um, when I went there in graduate school to um, study it, um, it, uh, it was basically, it was almost like it was in a broom closet and a nice monsignor, uh, whose actual name was, um, um, Vercelli, his surname was, uh, he, uh, went and got it for me. Uh, now it's available online and we can look at some manuscript pages of that. Um, uh, uh, the ones that are relevant to, uh, the dream of the root, but in any case, um, it's a late 10th century manuscript. So that means, uh, the late 900s. Um, and this uh, hand, we call the, the manuscript uh, style, we call it a hand. You know, it's the, it's the handwriting uh, of a particular kind. It's called a West Saxon half unchal. Um, it's actually one of the easier uh, hands to read, frankly. Uh, as I say, if, uh, if we look at it uh, more closely, I can show you, you can actually pick out the, um, uh, the letters pretty easily. Um, now, this manuscript... Um, it contains also uh, 23 prose homilies. Um, so homilies are, um, uh, uh, you know, preachers give sermons. That's uh, a sermon is a homily. Um, and there are also six poems uh, in the Vercelli book. Um, it was one of the major um, uh, manuscripts I looked at in, uh, when I was doing my uh, dissertation research, which is why I went to Italy to look at it. Um, uh, it does include... Um, the Dream of the Rood, uh, and uh, Elena, which is the Old English version of the, um, uh, uh, the legend of uh, St. Helen and the, uh, the finding of the true cross. I'm afraid that uh, um, Helen might be cut off at the end uh, there, uh, of, um, at the bottom of your uh, frame. Sorry about that. But in any case, so that's Vercelli book, and it's um, the one manuscript which contains the Dream of the Rood, and uh, it's particularly interesting because we have this cross, the Ruthwell cross, that has part of the text on it. Uh, and we have this, this book in Italy. Uh, so this cross, standing stone cross in Scotland, this book in Italy, and as we'll see, uh, another reliquary cross uh, in Belgium, in Brussels. But we'll look at that uh, next.